House Speaker Kenneth Marende was in the House of the Lord this Sunday for a special occasion in his life. Matters of the soul aside, the speaker sought to clear the air of a brewing dissent that he has lately been going overboard, judging by his rulings in the August House. Last week, Marende ruled that members of parliament were perfectly in order to debate the legality or lack of it in the controversial reappointment of Justice Aaron Rengera as the director of Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission, despite a court case filed on the matter. As far as I'm concerned, we are not attempting to weaken the executive Neither am I, as the Speaker, at any moment attempting to use up the powers of His Excellency the President. But that answer might not be satisfactory to the President's men, who fault the Speaker's and Presidented ruling that indeed challenged the Executive's powers. Vice President Kalonzo Musioka took the honors to speak the minds of several PNU legislators. This is dangerous ground, absolutely dangerous ground. If we do not respect the concept of separation of powers, then we are opening a Pandora's box in this country. Why, why will I want to empower parliament at the expense of the other arms of government? I think what I'm doing is just making sure that parliament plays its role as is expected of it by the provisions of the constitution and other relevant uh, laws. Sections of MPs from the Party of National Unity have read mischief in Marende's rulings, accusing him of trying to make parliament stronger than the executive. The way to go is not to run down constitutional offices. I believe in institutions. I believe that the presidency is legitimate. So I have no reason to take away from that executive authority. Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo and Attorney General Amos Wako had asked the Speaker to bar Parliament from discussing Ringera's reappointment, saying it would be prejudicial because the matter was already before the High Court, a matter Marende overruled. I will expect the Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs to lead the executive in ensuring that we have good laws. The Speaker does not contribute to legislation. Besides discussing and even adopting the report tabled by the Committee of Delegated Legislation and that of Legal Affairs, that once the reappointments annulled, Marende's ruling also gave Parliament power to corner the President to rescind his decision and allow the KACC Advisory Board to carry out a fresh recruitment exercise of the Director and his two deputies. <laughs> Sylvia Chebet for Sunday Live, Nairobi.